Girl, the city girls are down to Huni because young Miami is getting dragged for filth after getting served with court papers a couple of days ago. Miami's name has been brought up a lot in the legal space in the past couple of months because of her association with Diddy, but now she has a shiny new lawsuit of her own cuz she just got served hard. But somehow that was not the worst part of this drama because in the course of the lawsuit, she got exposed for lying about how rich she is. Well, this immediately got Diddy's other side piece, Gina Hun, on Miami's case and she mow Miami hard for being broke and lying about it. Gina and Miami have had their share of messy drama, but it looks like Gina is willing to take it all the way there because girl, she didn't just throw shade, she threw the entire forest child. Things are not looking good for young Miami at all because she keeps taking L after L and at this point, it's starting to look like her rebrand and her yams era thingy isn't working as well as she hoped. I mean, it was only a couple of days ago that little Rod exposed her for moving to Diddy and also working as his worker according to the court documents. Plaintiff and the Combs Rico Enterprise were rehearsing for something in the Westival in Virginia. The court filing reads, Plaintiff Jones personally witnessed Mr. Combs do a few lines of nose candy in his dressing room. Defendant Sean Combs wanted toy, but Brendan forgot it. So defendant Christina Corum called Young Miami, who then brought it on the private jet from Miami. The document went on to say that Young Miami, Jade, and Sydney Joy were paid a monthly fee to work as Mr. Combs workers and received payment via wire transfer from Robin Green Hill, which outlined defendant's ongoing criminal operation. Things were looking bad for her, especially since we found out that Diddy cut her off financially after the lawsuit started to hit. According to a source close to Miami, Diddy is no longer paying Young Miami's bills. Friend told us that Diddy had been paying for private flights, shopping sprees and rent for a luxury Miami penthouse. Now, Diddy has cut those expenses. Diddy still bought Young Miami a Christmas gift, but he's not as generous as he once was. Then we discovered that she was selling her personal belongings, clothes, shoes and stuff like that, and fans started speculating that she was going broke since the Diddy money had stopped rolling in. However, Miami being Miami denied that she was broke and claimed that she was just selling the clothes and belongings for fun. She got mad, tweeting, I'm broke. This must be new to me, a fan commented. People really ain't hear you when you say you made a meal in like two days from your car game and Miami replied, number one, drinking on Amazon, mind you, she also said, I'm broke. D selling my clothes when I always had Keisha's closet on my website this whole time. Mind you, I've been doing this why all people say anything, money getter, I'm a money spender, but you a effing runner, but it looks like she was bluffing hard because she just got served court papers and she has finally admitted that she is going broke. On one hand, she got mentioned Diddy's Rico case, which isn't surprising because like Diddy himself said, she is his shy and like she said, we go together real bad for real, for real like having a case with the fence isn't bad enough. She recently got caught up in another civil lawsuit where she is being sued over Diddy's copyright infringement case. Back in January, a lawsuit was filed by an inmate at the Collins Correctional Facility in New York named Charles Keenot Jr., aka Charlie C. News sources claimed that Charlie C. claims in the legal document that he had a binding agreement with Sean Diddy Combs company Bad Boy Part 4 LLC, which held his trademark for the act bad brand. However, he says he never gave permission for the trademark to be capitalized on despite Diddy doing so. In case why all missed it, Diddy and Miami dropped a song last year titled Act Bad and they had a hole out for the song and they even made a TikTok where he took her shopping. They also sold merch with the Act Bad logo and according to Charlie C., this violated the agreement that he had with Diddy because he never gave his permission for the logo to be used for merch. Reports also said the contract was made and signed without the consent, assent, or knowledge of Charles Kynet Jr. was entered into a contract with Sean Combs, owner of Bad Boy Part 4 LLC, without consent. After that, defendant Sean Combs' lawyer stopped answering emails from plaintiff's lawyer, Andrew Covington. Well, it looks like Miami has been evading so she hasn't been served yet. Well, she eventually got served in the messiest way possible because they asked someone else to serve. And child, he was ready to get messy because he served her right in the middle of her pool party in Houston. Embarrassing. It's a, it's a bad birthday. Her, her birthday is next week. So shout out to all the bitches whose birthday is next week. Absolutely. <laughs> Young Miami. Yes. Let me get this to you. What is this? What did you just say? So my homeboy Charlie C, you've been served. Okay. That was humiliating. Miami was humiliated, 
so humiliated that she went on a rant on Twitter where she slipped up and revealed that she was broke. She wrote, I'm so tired of the internet and people effing with me every day, trying to serve me some paper over merch that I'm not selling. It's lame like everybody wants to go viral so bad. Let's go viral. I'm tired a couple of weeks ago. She was bragging about how her merch was selling out like hotcakes, how she was rich, blah blah blah. But all of a sudden, the merch isn't moving like it should. Like girl, pick a side of the truth to stay on. So it looks like she is not as rich as she has led us to think she is. And why all want to know who is finding this whole thing funny? Gina, hun, that's who. Gina and Young Miami have been competing, well, at least they used to compete. For Diddy's affection back when he was still sugar daddy material and didn't have a million lawsuits hanging over his head, Miami and Gina used to drag each other through filth. For example, when Gina posted this picture of Diddy kissing her on the cheek, Miami got jealous and accused Gina of chasing clout, saying, somebody please give this bee some attention Gina replied on her Instagram stories, writing, if anyone's seeking attention, it's you. Suck my D. I don't give F Miami replied, saying, attention, B, I am the attention. Let's be clear, notice me please, B, go sit down, we see you, relax, it's okay, you've been around just around for years, you've been waiting on this moment, if he can't make you famous, B, I ain't, I ain't arguing no B that got cheap, limp carpet in their house, F on a billionaire, you freaky ass B Gina responded to Miami, writing, why you so pressed mama, I thought you was a city girl Miami hit back, saying, I am, and that's why I F with your man and ain't coming off him. I don't care how many pics you post, get that bread and leave. They started beefing again when Diddy had a baby with a completely different woman. Gina clowned Miami and posted this video on her Instagram saying, when she beefing with you over a man but the whole time he got someone else pregnant and captioned it. City Girls Down AT in Miami caught her sub and she fired back in a series of angry tweets where she said, Gina, you've been down bad ever since I came into the picture, ho. You've been crying for a baby for 10 years. You've been around as a bee that eats P and D when you feel like it. You a eater. You the eater. You the same bee that was crying on Tasha K cause you wanted a baby. Poor Sushi, she continued. You want a baby bee? I have a career ho. You a certified freak. You haven't heard from Diddy since the awards. Reminiscing on getting rid of babies. Let their hurt go, Chun Li. If I wanted you to eat me, Diddy would have had you on your knees. You a eater, bee. You a munch however, Diddy took Miami's side and tweeted, Young Miami is not my side chick, never has, never been, never will be. She's very important, ESP special to me and I don't play about my shorty. I don't discuss things on the internet and I will not start today. So think what you want but know that if you do something to hurt mine, I'm going to come to your house and we're going to talk about it like human beings. Love so it's not all that surprising that Gina is super salty over this and she finally has her moment to shine. According to several insiders, she is finding this really funny indeed and thinks that it's Miami's karma for humiliating her on social media. According to one insider, she has been clowning Miami for going broke after bragging all over social media about how rich she is, how she is never going to leave Diddy, and blah blah blah. Girl, this is a major L for Miami and Gina is not the only one clowning her. Cause fans have also been mocking her, saying if Keisha didn't get involved with Diddy, this would not be happening darn, Karisha, karma hit you hard, and she slept with the devil, and now nothing but bad things are happening. Girl, this is messy AF, but why all let me know how you feel about these women fighting, and then check out this next video.